welcome to this podcast this week we've got Ryan Evans. Ryan, welcome. Thanks for having me. Right, so we're on Christchurch at the minute, where we met actually, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is the first um, podcast I've done where actually I've got the rods out properly, and I've not just sort of flicked them on the side, so that's quite nice. So it would be mad if we had a take on um, tape, because chances are, chances are it'll be an absolute lump, wouldn't it? <laughs> so um, obviously you've done a fair bit on the wharf that I was going to bring up first, yeah. obviously that's a popular fishery in South Wales, so if we ever talk a bit about that, I mean, how did it start on there? Um, it was more or less going into Cardiff shopping weirdly enough um, the route I used to take in there's a you'd see the view of the wharf um, a big dock I think it's about 30 acres um, so yeah I saw it, saw it on my left hand side as I'm driving down the road and yeah. I thought I wouldn't mind giving that a go um, and it took me a good few years to sort of buck up the courage to do it yeah. um, from fishing small waters it looked huge yeah. um, so yeah I think it was about four years ago uh, I set foot on there for the first time and I literally I stood in one corner looked to the other corner and yeah. I I just thought what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing um, but I persevered um, and before I know it then I was on there I was yeah. regularly going down yeah. so what was the stock in there at the time when you first joined um, from the top off the top of my head I'd probably say it's around about 100 just over 100 fish maybe right. um no, I think there was 140 at the time, which a yeah. fish called Ollie, which sadly passed away, I think, at the beginning of the year. Right. Um, so, at the t- yeah, it was Ollie at just doing 40 pounds. Sometimes yeah. we'd dip below 40, and then you had a fish called Arnie, which was usually fl- first room between like sort of um, 32, 35 pounds, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, they were the two fish I joined for, really. Right. But other than that, it was all small, right. sort of 20s and uh, right. doubles. And um, did it take you long to sort of get amongst them? It was a bit of a sh- sh- steep um, learning curve, or? Yeah, it was. It was harsh reality. Um, yeah. I did a couple of nights. It was I could see fish show in, and I wasn't getting bites. Right. Um, it wasn't until I started actually sort of look like doing legging around properly yeah. and putting the, the work in that I started yeah. finding spots, sort of sussing out where the fish will go in certain times of the year, um, and then from there then once I started figuring that out it was yeah. sort of got the ball rolling yeah and is it quite a spotty sort of place then um, you have to be quite yeah, accurate I think so not not so much accurate yeah. I think if you're if you're there or thereabouts on the spot you'll you'll catch a fish yeah but um, I think over, over the years now it's becoming so I, yeah you could call it spotty now it's, right. it's very um, you, you've got to be bang on it really yeah if you've come off it these days it's you probably won't get a take. Right. If you do, you will. Be, you'll be lucky to get one. Right. And what do you think is caused that? Just the angling pressure. How I think sort of angling pressure. I think so much bait's gone in on those spots where people right. have talked, yeah. and no one keeps secrets down there really. Right. Everyone's open. Good bunch of lads down there. So yeah. Um, everyone's like, yeah, fish this this many wraps, and where yeah. the bait's going on that one spot. Yeah, it's just constant. The, the fish, they're not spooky fish. You can cast on top of them and they right. won't move. Right. Um, where if you if you come in left or right of the spot now or beyond it, yeah. You, more or less not going to yeah, get a right. take. Yeah. And so how did you get on? Did you say you were on there, was it four years in total? But, um, I think I've been on there about four years now, yeah. Yeah. Um, and sort of how have you got on? Um, I've done all right, actually. The first year, um, I didn't too bad. I switched over onto the bait works, um, yeah. put an order in, and since the, the moment I went down there with yeah. that, I caught my first session, <laughs> caught my second session, yeah. and then my third session. Yeah. Um, what did you use? Which one of the range? It was Atlantic Heat. Yeah, um, classic. With, what do I use? Pink Scent from Hell. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> really glugged up. Yeah. I, I didn't uh, didn't go easy on the bottle of glug. Yeah. Sort of just emptied it on the boilies and just yeah. thought, go for it. <laughs> but yeah, it didn't, middle of winter as well. Right. So it was freezing cold. Oh, um, right, okay. And yeah, there was three fish come out of the blue, really. <clears throat> yeah, that's interesting. Uh, obviously, most people like favour the monster red, don't mm, they? In their colder yeah. ones with the milk protein and everything. But yeah, that Atlantic heat, it's a cracking red, it. isn't it? I love it. Yeah. Um, I've started <clears throat> using Royal Marine a bit more now. Yeah. But I've I've, I've ordered uh, Atlantic heat to come up here. Yeah. And I opened the bag and I was like, oh, why haven't I been using this yeah. more often again? Yeah. It's just the smells <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, that aroma. And you know it works as well. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's done fish everywhere. Yeah, it's renowned, isn't it, for for the better fish as well. You can just sort of sense as well. I mean, when you crumble it up, any of his baits, <clears throat> they're just coarse, aren't they? Yeah, 
full of like <coughs> all the seaweed. Yeah, and it's the the water. The water penetrates so well into the bay. Yeah, like you, watch, you see it on the margin. Yeah, right in there. Go back half an hour later, and you can see. Yeah, where all the the seaweed and yeah, or like the nut meal. Or I'm sure is like nut meal he puts in there. It's right. just it falls out. Yeah, well, I I um sort of soak my baits in the lake water. I always got like a pot soaked. Yeah, really. yeah. You can see them change even within yeah, yeah. like the first probably six hours, and they're just shelf lives. You can just sort of see them starting to open, yeah. and you can see like see how little seeds and bits popping out yeah. into the water. But yeah, it's um, a great bait. Yeah, so obviously you switch to them, you started getting bites, and then you sort of, sort of started to piece it together. You on started there. to piece it together. Um, last year was probably the best year I've had on the wharf. I think I had not far off. I think it was between forty and fifty fish. Right. Nice. Um, one of them was. One of the big ones, the second biggest in the lake. Right. The first time it went over 40. Oh, wow. Which was nice. Oh, um, and then I had a fish as well the week before that. Um, it was called the uh, the Big Fully. You might right. have seen it around. Yeah. It got a lot of publicity for it. Um, yeah. It was wood carving. Yeah. So um, I had quite a good week. Yeah. I had that. It, it was down in weight slightly at 30 pound, but. Yeah, with a fish it, like that. It, it, yeah. it, it, didn't, it didn't bother yeah. me at all. Yeah. Um, I've been. I saw photos of that. And I thought, yeah, I want that one. Yeah. And I finally had it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just all started coming together nicely. Um, just picking up the odd fish here and there. Um, I did put quite a bit of time in. Mm -hmm. um, but recently, well, because since the beginning of the year, I haven't done a lot on there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I sort of lost the bug for a while. There's so much <coughs> going on with with life and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, I just thought, you know what? I think I'll just take a step back from fishing and. Yeah. Sort of, yeah, it's got to be done sometimes, yeah. and there is more to life than fishing. As much as we love it, yeah, I mean, life does just get in the way, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I said to you off my dinner yesterday, it's all very well sort of making these plans, but it only takes one thing to pop up and, and yeah, just that's completely over them. So, I've just bought a house, which is the massive reason I took a step yeah. back, really. Is yeah, very well. Just trying to get everything sorted with that, yeah. Um, but yeah. Nice and obviously I met you on here sort of mm -hmm. early spring, wasn't it? I suppose mid spring, was it yeah, April? April, towards the end of April, yeah. and um, you had one out, hadn't you? Yeah, at the top I'd, end. Uh, it'd been fishing weird, it was sort of I did two nights on Willow, yeah, um, didn't have anything, the fish were stacked up in the outer bounds, yeah, um, so as expected, I moved, yeah, um, managed to get onto peg 10, I think I did, right, um, on Christchurch, yeah, um, there was fish there. Um, but just couldn't, just couldn't get a bite. Yeah. Uh, I was watching them go into this same hole of weed, like a little tiny hole in the weed. Yeah. For hours, and yeah. I thought, right, there we are. They moved out, put a rig in. Yeah. Left it there all night, didn't get a take. So. Yeah. Scratching my head. Um, I sort of packed up early, really, right. to come home. And as I was coming round, new dig become available on the guy. Yeah. I think he had six or seven fish. Right. So I jumped straight in there, and then. Um, yeah. yeah, the following day then, yeah. I managed to bag one, which I was over the moon with. Like, I did nearly a week. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I was more than happy to walk away with one fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, they're all stunners in there, aren't they? I don't think there's one bad fish. No. Even the sort of slightly smaller ones. Little cracking. noodles going in for you. Yeah, leftover porridge. porridge. <laughs> yeah. We've got um, Christchurch royalty with us. Noodle the cat. <laughs> Yeah, like I said last night he walked past and then a badger sort of walked past about an hour after him. So, yeah, there's plenty of nature up here, isn't there? So is this your, um, only your second session? Second your, session up now. Yeah, yeah. Um, it'd be rude not to come back, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so I came up with my mate, Connor, because it was his birthday. Yeah, happy uh, birthday, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he was just trying to decide where to go and I was like, mate, it's just stupid. Yeah. Just go to Christchurch. Yeah, you can fish it got well. To, you've, got, yeah. you've got to come up there, yeah. Yeah. I've done a few fish. Yeah. So um, not a bad time to come up, really. It's yeah. Quieter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Well, it has been quite busy, so I think you did seem to. Mm. You, it depends on it's when people pull off. It takes yeah. three or four to pull off, and we, gives you, we we turned up and I think there was about eight pegs free. Right. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. So um, yeah, I jumped in peg one, Connor in new dig, trying yeah. to get him a. A monster for his birthday. Yeah. So uh, good chance of that, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with this right. sun. Yeah, it's looking this is good. probably perfect new dig weather, isn't it? Yeah. Nice I, think sun so. I think it's gonna be like it for quite a few hours, isn't it? As well. I think so. so. As long as the rain holds off a little, just a little bit, just to yeah. warm the water up. Well, that absolutely hammered it down last night, didn't it? Yes. Um, torrential. Yeah. I think I got my bivy pulled so tight, the noise it was making on there as well. <laughs> it was. Um, yeah, it woke me up. 
course that needs a pee, getting on a bit. Yeah, so what sort of tactics are you using on here? Um, I haven't changed a lot really. Yeah. Um, anything ride fish anywhere else. Uh, Ronnie rig, pop yeah. up. Um, I have came, I have come, you might want to delete that bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I have come with um, balanced bottom baits mm-hmm. this time, only because obviously the weed dying off and stuff now. I just, yeah. I think that they're, they're being quite picky. Yeah. And like what you've said, you've had yours on pop up Twitch. Yeah. I, I might have to try. I don't yeah. get any takes, but um, yeah. yeah, I've got one on a pop up, I've got two on uh, balanced bottom baits. Right. So. And are you over um, much bait or not? No, I think I was saying to you yesterday, it's, I was casting and it felt weird casting because I haven't cast yeah. for so long. Yeah. <laughs> some were going to the left, some were going to the right. Yeah. And I think I put, I put about seven spawns out altogether. Right. Uh, not only the midi spawns, yeah. so it was not a lot of bait, it's mostly crumb yeah. and um, yeah. the liquids and stuff. Yeah. So by the time I sit at the bottom, it'll be yeah. just anyway. My sunglasses out there, yeah, so right. it's so bright, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think from what I can gather, that's what's been doing the bite. It's just a little bit of bait, yeah. sort of, you know, five to eight spawns and just like little crummy bitty bits, really. Yeah. That have been doing it, but they do seem the fish do seem to be coming out sort of quite spread out, which is good. Yeah, I think especially if you're on for a few nights, which you are, you're um, at some point you're going to be in with like the shout a good shout Fingers of the take, crossed, aren't you? Yeah, it'd be nice yeah. just uh, just one fish on the bank, I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I don't expect happen. to come here and haul. No, it's uh, just picking off a bite at a time, yeah, but it's that sort of water, and that's all you really need to be doing, isn't it? Because yeah. you know that yeah. each one could be like, a fish for a lifetime, almost. yeah, absolutely. Um, Brilliant. So um, when did you say you're on till? Monday. So we're what Friday now. So Friday yeah, so now. Yeah. yeah, a few nights left. Um, have you seen much up your end? Obviously, I'm fishing um, next to you, but I can't really see. I that. haven't seen a lot in front of me on peg one. Um, yeah. Connor's fishing up on New Dig, and fish were lumping out yeah. when we got here yesterday, early yesterday morning. Yeah. Um, and this morning as well. So he's probably in for a, yeah. a bite if the sun stays up and. It penetrates the water a bit and gets the heat going, but yeah. I'm just hoping they push out yeah. sort of late evening. Yeah. That yeah. deeper water. Yeah. And then, I mean, obviously, how long would you sort of give it on somewhere like here when you've got a few nights like, to spare before you start maybe like changing things or tweaking things? Or are you confident that once you're on spots, I say it's just a matter of fish coming out of you? I think it's, I think you've just got to be confident in what you're doing. I think if you yeah. start chopping and changing, yeah. I think you're going to, you, you step, I think you're just going to take a step back. It's, yeah. it's almost starting again. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've seen, I've only been here twice, but I've seen some people sort of, they're so like unconfident in the stuff yeah. they're using. Yeah. Um, and they're, they're slamming bait out and yeah. stuff like that. Like being here for a week in April, I learned yeah. so much. I, yeah. I learned a lot from this lake. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's just, I think I'm going to stick to my spots. I think mm-hmm. I'm just going to just prime it. Yeah. Every a spam, every sort of before bed every evening yeah. just, just keep a little bit of smell yeah, taste same, going yeah, in there yeah. um, and hopefully pick up a bite that was pretty much how I had my um, my fish when I came in April right um, just put a little bit of bait out went for breakfast yeah. came back another spawn yeah. left it yeah. and it did the bite next day right so yeah brilliant that must have been then that sort of time of year just as it was, they were starting to wake yeah, up they were, really, they were really waking up yeah. um, I was up a tree for hours watching fish yeah 30s and 40s swimming swimming over the spot it's unbelievable isn't it it's swimming sight, back yeah. but I, it was crazy to think how much they moved on the wind yeah. the smallest wind change yeah I, I was just they were just a wee U-turn yeah. straight down the other end of the lake because it's not a big lake either is it no, so you no. wouldn't and it's sort of quite tree lined yeah. as well you wouldn't expect the wind to push through as much yeah. but it does um, it does pick up quite a bit of wind yeah it's um, you saying about seeing the fish in the water when you're at that tree and you see one of the mm. big ones like waddle towards yeah. you it's like I was a sight uh, to behold isn't it I was telling Connor I was, I was up a tree in the new dig and I saw uh, I'm pretty sure it was single scale swim past yeah. me yeah what a fish and that's sort of uh, yeah. one of my targets I think now yeah uh, that's what that sort of fire going yeah. doesn't it yeah, you know, um, one little sign like that can yeah. completely change your session, can't it? As well, It'll fire you up and everything. But all them fish, and I had a, I had a twenty. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so quite a few twenties in it. Though, yeah, there's, it, there's plenty, but they're all nice. They're all nice yeah. looking. Yeah, that one, the small one I had last week was a stunner. Yeah. That real chestnutty mm. sort of brown colour. Um, yeah, they're all absolute peaches in there. I'm surprised we've not seen more. See, I, no. I heard a couple in the night, but. 
I think it was last week, um, they were just lumping out. As soon as it got dark, it was crazy, you know? Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's like that, if, we, if you ever get to witness one of those, it's just <laughs> unreal. Or on like the end of a southwest or something, yeah. at the top end. They so, haven't been showing as much as <clears throat> they have been sort of my last time up here. Is yeah. Weird. I thought they'd be showing more, if I'm being honest yeah. with you. But yeah, but it's like you said earlier as well, off mic, obviously. It's a funny old place when you're getting fizz in and fish rolling over your spots. You just tend not to get. You a tend take. not to get a take. Yeah. Yeah. And when it's completely quiet. Yeah, out of the blue. Out of the blue, we have a take. So. Yeah, it's a funny place. Take it as a good sign or a bad sign, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you, are you fishing over sort of any like predominant features out there? Do you get the mark or do you just have a load about when you're um, spot finding? Well, peg one's weedy at the moment, really right. weedy, and it's frustrating. Yeah. Um, but there was a spot. I think it's. 16 wraps mm-hmm. um, out in front and it's to find gravel yeah. not a lot of it yeah, because um, the weed's still quite yeah. thick over there but you're getting sort of I don't know quarter of a rod length drag back right. before locks up into weed so yeah. I got two rods on that yeah. um, and I got one up the margin on a, a nice yeah. gravel area that's a lovely margin yeah, isn't it? yeah. 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 I, was, um, I just went to have a little look in the, in the trees then and there was a gravel area I found yesterday mm-hmm. close in um, I'm not fishing it I've just been priming it right. and the bait's gone so right. whether a bird's at it or yeah. I'm hoping a fish has come in there overnight yeah. but I'll, I'll start topping that up again today now and yeah. just leave it keep an eye on yeah, it and then tomorrow morning then yeah. it's gone again I might stick a, a rod on it for the third night yeah nice yeah this um, this water's renowned isn't it for doing bites in the margins in the margin. as well there's so many good spots I think pretty much every peg's probably got a margin spot yeah. it, looking at it I just think the margins at this this time of year they start dying to death, and they yeah, see you all that be careful. all yeah. the leaf yeah. coverage over the top of the spots. And <laughs> yeah, I think everything dying down. You know, you know is. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think to wink one out of the edge from sort of mid September onwards is always good going, yeah, isn't it? Because they definitely. do start to push out into the pond. I'm um, saying so like those ones I had, they weren't drastically far out. I think I was thirteen and a half wraps out yeah. from that peg five. But again, just fishing in. The dirty stuff almost. I had, let's say, two rods on a nice, sort of smooth, glassy silt spot, and then the one that I had to take some were both on that right hand spot, which was sort of just off the yeah. side of it. So you, you know, it's like, a, I'll try this just to be different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, on one rod. Sometimes it works, sometimes yeah. it doesn't, but. Yeah. Yeah, and that's probably. for you, it's, uh, it paid off. Yeah, yeah. So, um, other than sort of the wharf and here, have you sort of done any time around? Do you ever fish abroad or anything like that? France. Like yeah. I've done a lot of. Um, right. I haven't been for going on about five or six years now in right. France. Right. I miss it massively. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love it down there. Yeah. Um, I think the first time I went was in 2011. Right. Okay. Um, Where'd you go? There's a place called Freedom Lake. It's shut down now, unfortunately. Oh. Um, but it was a great place. Um, they had a few lakes on site. I think there was one at 19 acres, one at six and one at 30 right um, me being sort of new to France yeah the six acre the six, was it? yeah six acre one was closed at the time mm-hmm. um, so I fished the 19 acre and even that at the time from fishing yeah. small yeah. small lakes in Wales yeah. to go into that I thought wow yeah. like where do I start oh, with this <laughs> um, so me and my mate went up there and just we were fishing like an enduro like a little right. competition up there yeah um, and there's like 10 to 12 pairs I think it was right so yeah, we just thought we'll get involved in that, go up there. Yeah. Um, we managed to have like four fish each. Uh-huh. Um, he had a 43. <laughs> he was shaking, couldn't believe it. I think his, his PB at the time was something like, must have been like 17 pounds, 18 oh, wow. pounds, yeah. <laughs> so he just he went and bagged a 43. Oh, God. Um, That's quite funny watching someone lift that out of the water for the yeah, first time. Yeah, and he was good as well because we had, um, Joe Morgan was down there at the time right, doing yeah. um, Carp TV. Yeah. So that was all on Carp TV. I sent a DVD, he was buzzing. Yeah. It was nice to see. Um, yeah. Oh, brilliant. And then I went and bagged a 40 on my, uh, <laughs> my last night. Oh, nice. In similar conditions to what we had last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much torrential rain. Mm. Um, but yeah, that was nice. And then the next day it was bright, sunny, boiling hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went three years, three or four years on the trot then. Right, what, to um, the same place? To or? the same place. Yeah. Um, and. I think I had a 50 my second year, which oh, was wow. nice. Yeah. yeah, but I fished. Yeah. I fished the enduros, the competitions every year. Right, it was oh, a good okay. laugh from yeah. people all over Belgium, yeah. um, France, obviously England. Yeah. So oh, nice. Yeah, it was. So it was how good. did you get involved with like the enduro? Was that just by chance that it was on, or did you sort of research it for? I got quite uh, sort of chatty with the uh, 
the guy who yeah. ran the fisher really yeah because yeah. um, he's from uh, England originally right um, and he would always say oh, the enduro this time next year yeah you win I was like yeah, yeah okay put yeah. my name down yeah so me and my mate went over again right um, yeah and we've We've done quite well. Um, like I said the first year we went, we finished fourth out of ten or twelve pairs. It was right, nice. the second year we finished second. Yeah, um, we were first the whole thing. Oh, we got right. beaten by seventeen pound, huh. which is pretty much one fish. Yeah. Um, but to be fair, it was uh, it was good Dutch anglers over there. Yeah. So uh, we couldn't complain. But yeah. yeah, it was it was it was a good good time yeah. spent. Yeah. Over yeah. There. yeah. Any plans to sort of go back, do anything else abroad, or? Well, me and Connor were having a little conversation when we con. Um, I want to try the Belgium canals. Yeah, Give yeah, them. they look good, don't they? Yeah, all the public lakes or something like that. Yeah, just something a bit off the radar. Yeah, um, just to see. If we can... Yeah, because you sort of see snippets, don't you? Of people yeah. fishing them, and they do look. Sort of fishing it, it looks, it looks nice. Like we're from the urban. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, fishing. fishing yeah, fishing the wharf is yeah. probably similar to that. Isn't yeah. It? So. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned that well, again. Obviously, off my like finding the spots on there where you're sort of aiming for people's yeah, windows. People's stuff. windows. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, lining up to someone's flat window. Yeah, hoping they've got a light on in the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can aim. So, but, were there um, were there any like markers that you could rely on that were always on or not? Would that? Yeah, yeah. Like you've got you've got it's tree it's tree lined on one side. Yeah. Um, so you've got like a road sign from right. the main from the main dual carriageway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, this. There's lots of the lamp posts. Yeah. Um, like I said, people's flats. You've got um, <laughs> hotels, doorways, gaps. Yeah. It's, there's the this features there. Well, like, yeah. like markers that will not move. Yeah. So <laughs> it's ideal. It's not like 30 acres. It sounds. Yeah. It sounds like a big a big place, but it's yeah. not. It's quite it's quite narrow. Right. I think it's only I think it's only a 30 wrap chuck across. Oh, okay. Across. Oh, right. um, and you can can you fish both sides as well? Yeah, fish both sides. Right. Yeah. Um, Oh, right. So is it like a sort of almost like a sectioned off canal, I suppose, or something it's, like that? Yeah, it was, it was the old. Um, it's an old dock, shipping right. dock. Right. From like I think they used to bring big, big uh, ships in in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. Right. And, um, but they they closed it off. It's now mm. a dry dock. Right. Holds fresh water. And yeah. I think the carp just got introduced in over the years. And yeah. Yeah. It's turned into probably the best fish in Wales to be yeah. honest and what is it is it a syndicate now is it a syndicate now yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it was free then he went to a club water right um, and then they had the um, the go ahead to make it into a syndicate right so it's doing really well yeah really well and I think you said you say they've stocked it since or? yeah they've stocked it with uh, I think they've got some dint fish in there they've got right. uh, BS fish oh nice they're piling on the weight yeah I bet um, yeah because I bet it sees a lot of bait doesn't it as well yeah, so. yeah. yeah. I, I don't think you can go down there and there will not be anyone on there. Right. It's, there's, like years ago, you'd go down, there'd be no one on there. Yeah. But now, obviously, it's a syndicate, and yeah. it's been yeah. stocked, and it's, it's fish coming out, and yeah. stuff like that, and the fish are in there, and we are. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. For whale standard, there's not a lot in Wales. Yeah. Um, but for Welsh standard, the fish yeah. are un- unbelievable. And do they, um, is there a waiting list for there now? I think there's a waiting list. Um, I'm not too sure how long it is. Yeah. Um, but I think, a couple of years ago, I think it was like a year, two year waiting list, right. which isn't waiting list go is not as yeah. bad. Yeah, you've got the likes of like Burfield, who've got something like 10 year waiting yeah. list. Um, yeah, or it's not too bad. So, yeah. I, w- I would recommend it to uh, anyone if they wanted a sort of change of scenery or yeah. something like that. Yeah, um, and what about sort of your f- fishing in the future? Any plans to join anywhere um, in this country? Or? Well. I'm on a waiting list at the moment for one of the embryo lakes. Right. Um, stands in Harcourt, so yeah. pretty much I'll be down the road really from yeah. here. Yeah. Um, so it'd be nice if I can get a ticket on there. Yeah. Um, but he's done great work, hasn't he? Yeah, amazing. Really good work. Yeah. Um, and obviously Norton Disney's open now, so yeah. that might be somewhere else. I might try obviously day ticket. Yeah. Um, but tomorrow I haven't really looked around at yeah. places. Um, it'd be nice to get on another syndicate. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think obviously the beauty of a syndicate, you start to get spots going, you sort of get in yeah, touch with it, don't you? You can sort of build momentum. That's it. I don't, I don't want to be on a syndicate too far away because obviously I want to do a bit of pre-baiting as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be travelling sort of three, four hours Yeah. to have a layer around and prime spots to drive yeah. three, four hours yeah. back. And yeah, it's a crawler, isn't it? Yeah, and just yeah. a cost involved yeah, as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And I don't have time as well. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, that's dedication when you see guys doing that. Yeah, I absolutely. think fair play to them, they deserve to catch. Because it's, um, you think, just the cost in fuel, bait, everything else. Yeah. 
Those traffic jams. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, traffic. We got, when we got into uh, <clears throat> Oxford yesterday, uh, like, what time was it? I think it was half six in the morning. There was right. traffic building up. So, Mental. if we left any later, we'd have been yeah. a nightmare getting here. But yeah. yeah, I'm not too bad to get out. I can sort of whiz all the back roads, get go up near Horseshoe and cut through that way yeah, from where yeah. I am. So, it works out quite nice. And sort of, because if you go on that A4, which way would you come? We come up. Up the M4, yeah, um, and then we come off. Uh, oh, I forgot the name of the road now. I think it's, is it the A4, A4 three, oh, right, yeah, three two, or something be. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then we come, come up off. through there. Then. Yeah, there's Junction 15. We come off at. All right, okay. Yeah, so you go Junction 15, A419. That's the one. A419. Yeah, and then oh, cut yeah. through. Yeah, so if you like cut through Highworth and all that, that's probably the best way you can go yeah. to. Before you probably get on the A420 and then get stuck by the Sainsbury's I thought. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah the big police station, yeah. yeah. So if you keep going past that, there's another way you can go. You right, okay. Sort of back way. It just avoids that bit, because it's, it's longer, but it's quicker. Yeah, yeah. That time of morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so um, how are we doing for time? I reckon we should probably wrap it up. I don't yeah. know if you, you guys want to recast, but... What's the time now? Five to nine. Five to nine. I've, um, I've got to pack up and go to work. Oh. Fun and games. Yeah. Get your violin out. <laughs> right, Ryan, thank you very much, mate. Oh, thanks for having me on, mate.